Hey guys, this is Murthy from Manifold AI Learning. Now here today, we are going to learn how we can create vectors and matrices in Python programming language. Now the reason that I have chosen this topic because we know that data science is all about working with the data. Now while working with this data, we have to come up with some format so that I can represent it. Now one of the common way where we use it to represent the data is with the help of vectors and matrices. Now, as you know already, I'll be having my input data in terms of rows and columns. No matter what the type of data it may be, I'll still be having the data and my machine learning model expects my data to be in the format of rows and columns. Just to give you an example, suppose if I'm having a text data, even in case of text data, if I want to use it on my machine learning algorithm, it expects my data to be in the format of matrices. So what do we do? We apply various transformation techniques so that the text data will be converted into a structured data format. Now coming to this vector. So we'll be using the vector representation of data whenever I want to run it on a prediction service. That means suppose I'm having my machine learning model trained and ready. Now on this train model, if I want to run the prediction, obviously I'll be sending an individual input data in the format of vectors. Not just this guys, suppose if I'm having an image data, okay? Now for the example purpose, let's consider a black and white image. So if I have a black and white image, and if I try to learn its properties of that particular image, it will be represented with the help of a matrix which has the shape of width by height and every value in that particular matrix will be having the range between 0 to 255. So that means I'll be using this vectors and matrices to represent the data while performing the activity of data science, machine learning and deep learning. So let's see how we can create this simple vectors and matrices with the help of Python programming language. Now while performing this activity of data science, obviously we'll be making use of various libraries. Now in this video, I'm going to show you as how we can create this vectors and matrices with the help of NumPy library stack. Okay, now to create a vector over here, I'm importing my NumPy library. So NumPy as NP. Now once I have imported, to create a vector as a row, we just have to pass those elements inside a Python list. Now in this scenario, I'm creating this numpy array, which is a vector numpy array as np.array and inside the parenthesis, I'm specifying the elements of four, five and six. And if I want to convert it as a column vector, so what I should do is I should send it as a list inside the list like this. Let me do one thing guys, I'm going to execute this cell and let's analyze from the shape of this individual vectors. So if I display this vector row and I'll also display its shape. So this vector row is in the format of row representation and has the shape as three comma blank. That means it's a single dimensional array and it is represented in the format of row wise. Now this time I'm going to display this vector column and along with that I'm going to display its shape. So this vector column is represented in a column wise format. That means it is having the shape of three comma one. That means three rows and one column. So in this way, I can create a basic vector using NumPy library stack. Now suppose if I want to create it as a matrix, now creation of matrix is actually a creation of two dimensional array. Now to create a two dimensional array, obviously guys, I can make use of the same method that I have used for creation of this vector column, because if you observe the shape of my vector column, it has the shape of three comma one, which means it's a two dimensional array. So my matrix is nothing but it's a two dimensional array. Now to create a two dimensional array here, I'm importing my NumPy as NP and I'm just creating my matrix as a two dimensional array with list inside a list like this. See. Inside my one list, I'm adding individual list like this. Yeah, let me just execute this. And if I now display the shape of my matrix along with its elements, so matrix dot shape. So this is how my individual elements would look like. And the shape of my individual matrix is three comma two. Now, apart from this, if I want to create it as a matrix object, Obviously, we also have another function called mat, so np.mat, and this is going to interpret my input as a matrix. 
So even though we have this option of creation of this matrix with the help of np.mat function, we generally don't use it. The reason because whenever we are working with multidimensional array, so I'll not be, uh, if I'm using it as a matrix, I'll be restricted for my two dimensional representation of my data space. Obviously while working with the data, we may have to add additional data space over there. Hence in such scenarios, it's not recommended to use this np.mat function. Hence you'll see most of the people and most of the data scientists using the matrix representation with the help of np.array function. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you and gave you some more insight as why you have to learn more about this vector object as well as this matrix object and how you can create these two objects with the help of NumPy library. Now in the next video, I'm going to share you the steps as how you can create a sparse matrix. If I want to give you a little bit brief about this sparse matrix, you know that this sparse matrix is going to get created while working with this text data. So while working with text data, we'll be converting words with the help of bag of words and then we'll be generating a matrix which will be a sparse matrix. So let's explore in the next video as how we can create this sparse matrix. Till then, take care and do subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.